Who's this new basketball star? Nope, you're not mistaken. It is, in fact, Atletico's man at the moment, Joao Felix. The Portuguese forward is actually a massive NBA fan. And it's probably not the last thing you didn't know about the fourth most expensive player in the history of the game. So, fear not, we've got you covered. Here are 10 things you didn't know about Joao Felix. Joao Felix is a talented attacking wonder kid hailing from Portugal, so no prizes for guessing that one of his childhood heroes was CR7 himself. Cristiano Ronaldo is one of my childhood heroes, an example to follow in many different ways. When I was still a kid, he was already the best player in the world. He's unique and irreplaceable. He's rewritten the history of football. That said, when he was posed the question of which player he would have liked to have played with, he responded with a different Portuguese legend, Rui Costa. It would have been incredible to play alongside him. He was a special talent. Well, lucky for him, he's been compared to both these greats of the Portuguese press. But as you'll see a little later on, they're not the only legends he's been likened to. Joao Felix is still very young, and he was a little taken aback when he met his hero for the first time. I thought I was in a video game. I'm so used to seeing him on the television. I'd never met him in person, but I'd seen him play. It was weird. It seemed like he was three meters tall. I couldn't get over it. Given the talent of the young star and CR7's longevity, he would soon become accustomed to seeing him, as the two often brush shoulders with each other when they link up with their national team. We weren't lying when we said he's been compared to other legends of the game. Joao Felix has constantly been likened to the 2007 Ballon d'Or winner Kaka. The first instance came when a photo was posted of the two together in 2019. Kaka came to visit the Atletico players during a preseason training camp in the USA and the two joined forces to pose for a photo. The internet was quickly ablaze with comments of how similar they both looked. Their styles of play are remarkably similar too, but that may not be so much of a coincidence. Felix admitted to The Athletic that he used to watch videos of Kaka when he was younger. It remains to be seen whether he'll follow in the Brazilian genius's footsteps by signing for AC Milan one day, or even Atletico's city rivals, Real Madrid. In any case, we wish him just as much success. If you want to pull, put down Tinder and score a hat trick in the Europa League. Trust us, it's much more efficient. And Joao Felix will tell you just that. The Portuguese starlet exploded on the scene when he scored a hat trick for Benfica against Frankfurt. From that day on, his love life has spiced up a little. In an interview with Portuguese presenter, he had this to say That performance got me a lot of attention from the ladies. On social media, I sometimes receive photos from girls, sometimes even nudes. But just a few months later, he'd be on the other end. As he and his girlfriend filmed themselves messing around, she subsequently posted the video online. And this video would offer us one of the most WTF moments of 2021. As in the video, you can see, how do we say this, an intimate part of Xiao Felix's body. Come on, guys, always check before posting. Back to more serious matters now. Joao Felix wasn't always convinced of being a professional footballer. He actually comes from a family of teachers. His father, Carlos Felix, was a school teacher in Vichu, the town in which Joao was born, while his mother shares the same profession. But the Felix brothers wouldn't find their calling in a classroom. Yes, you heard correctly, the Felix brothers. That's point number six. Joao Felix isn't the only footballer in the family, far from it. His younger brother of five years, Hugo Felix, is also a talented footballer. He's not yet turned professional, but that shouldn't take long. He's currently in the Benfica Youth Academy and has even represented Portugal at youth level. He might not prove to be as talented as his brother, but he possesses qualities of his own. We've already witnessed them share the field, but not as teammates. Hugo Felix was often employed as a ball boy at the Estadio de Luz during Joao's time with Benfica, and the elder Felix brother would often run over to celebrate with his younger brother after scoring a goal. Reminds us of some other sporting siblings. Kylian and Ethan Mbappe, maybe? Both Joao and Hugo Felix seem to have a lot in common, as they both spent extended periods of time with the Porto youth teams. Wait, Joao Felix used to play for Porto? It's a sensitive topic in Portugal. It's an eternal debate between the two sets of fans who both claim their club is Joao Felix's boyhood team. He's a Benfica fan, surely. That's where he burst onto the scene, after all. Well, not quite. What most people don't know is he actually played for Porto for seven years and his link with the club from the north doesn't stop there. His best friend is none other than Rodrigo Conceição, the son of Sergio Conceição, the current Porto manager. Rodrigo himself also plays under his father's tutelage. Felix also revealed in an interview that the toughest player he has ever faced is a defender from Porto. Any guesses? 
Yep, it's that fearsome former Real Madrid man, Pepe. We admit that's a lot of connections with Porto, but we don't want to dig him in any deeper. Joao Felix is still a young man, and just like many his age, he's a big fan of video games. Like, a really big fan. He plays every day. That's what he told UNICEF after beating international teammate Andre Silva during a charity FIFA tournament. I play a lot. We have training in the mornings, then I have lunch, then I play. I'll do a bit of training again, and then in the afternoon, I'll play again. It's a big part of my life. I play all sorts. COD, Fortnite, NBA 2K. We still reckon Diego Simeone prefers him doing that than going clubbing. You saw it at the start of the video. The young star is basketball man. With a Portland jersey on his back, he showed us he has a decent shot, and he knows how to dribble too. Whether the ball is in his hands or at his feet, young Felix knows what he's doing. In a video published on social media, we can witness Joao Felix nutmegging his mate before finishing it off with a dunk. Yeah, let's not get it twisted. The bucket had been brought down a little. Well, a lot. While his talent wasn't in question during his time at the Benfica Academy, Joao Felix was almost loaned out to Maritimo in the hope of toughening up and gaining extra playing time. Fortunately, his manager at the time, Bruno Lage, had different ideas. He decided at the last minute to keep hold of Joao Felix, a decision that would soon pay off as he burst onto the scene immediately after, going on to eventually become the fourth most expensive player in history. Laja has even been quoted as saying the former Benfica man could be a Ballon d'Or contender in the coming years. I think it's possible because I know the way he thinks. I know how he handles pressure. He's very demanding. If he can be voted as player of the year at 18, it's not implausible that he could soon be a contender for the Ballon d'Or. Well, from all of us at Oh My Goal, we wish him the best. And there you have it. That was 10 things you didn't know about Joao Felix. If you like this video on Joao Felix, we're sure you won't want to miss this video. Who is Joao Felix? Click here to check it out.